Hey guys, Deboki here once again. It is time for a cooking video. I know my last food adventure were tacos, but I've just been on this insane taco craze right now. So I'm gonna actually make some homemade tacos because I've been spending a lot of money getting those tacos that I love, those street tacos. And my friend just said, why don't you just try to make them at home? It'll be a lot more fun. In the long run, it's just a lot cheaper too. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I've been experimenting with the crock pot a little bit. I'm gonna try to slow cook some carnitas. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Hi, did you hear tacos and you got all excited? Yeah, you did, didn't you? I'll go ahead and post the recipe I'm using. I just literally searched for like the top street tacos and I got a recipe pulled up. So I'm gonna follow her recipe and see how it goes. I am on my lunch break, so I do need to be a little bit quick. I just need to prep this. I got my pork. This is such a huge slab. Definitely not gonna fit into this thing. And then I got some toppings here that we're gonna go ahead and place on top for the crock pot cook. I got myself some garlic, jalapeno, and an onion. I'm not really sure the exact measurements. I just eyeballed her recipe. I didn't really <laughs> follow anything to a T, so we're gonna do a lot of eyeballing and tossing right now. So I got all my vegetables chopped. Here we are. I put in some extra garlic garlic because I love garlic. This is one of my favorite seasonings here, so had to go a little bit hard with the garlic. Now for the pork. Oh boy, the pork. This is such a beastly piece of meat here. What in the world? This is, I believe, the pork shoulder or part of the pork shoulder. Do I feel a bone in here? Oh, there's a bone in here too. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I've never dealt with this cut of meat before. I'm not very knowledgeable with meat, so... Um, yeah, I kind of want to use this bone part. I think that would be so much fun. There's like a bone running through this. Can this like fit on there? Well, so I'm going to need to cut quite a bit more than I anticipated. The bone won't actually even fit in here, I don't think. I'm going to go ahead and use this smaller one right here without the bone in it and just kind of place it right up in here like this. So we got the cut of the meat. I'm going to go ahead and prepare a little bit of a marinade, I guess, for the meat. It's going to be pretty simple. We got ground cumin. We got oregano, salt pepper, some olive oil. We're gonna mixture that up and place it onto the meat. Oh yes, it's coming together. It smells so good. Add some olive oil in here. Nice. I don't really have any tools, so I'm just gonna pour it on. Kinda just massage it in there. Get old pork shoulder. Just massaging this all up on here. Give every piece a little bit of love in here. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to trim off some of this stuff, but we'll keep everything in. We'll just say it adds flavor. Learn as we go. Experiment. Looks so good. All right. We're gonna place that right in here. Get it all cozied up in there. And then we're gonna top the top with the garnish. The big old garnish. This is just for that flavor. I'm gonna actually just mix it up on top a little bit. Doing the twisting claw twirl technique. Only available in four countries near you. Now the final part before we turn it on is we're gonna add some orange juice. Apparently that's her secret recipe. Probably just gonna put like a splash in there. There we go, like that. And I'm gonna take this little container, put some orange juice in here, rinse it out just to get that last of the seasoning in here. Pour that all up on there. There we go, bubbling already. It's like trying to cook, look at that. All right guys, let's get to it. Taking it to the crock pot. So I'm gonna turn this on to just low and have this cook for hopefully about six to seven hours. I'm just gonna have it sit here while I finish up my day of work. But this is it, guys. That was super fast, super quick. Uh, I just hope it turns out tasty. We'll see. At least I have something to look forward to now at the end of the day of my shift. I do want some fresh cilantro, tomatoes, and onions on the top of my tacos, so we'll get that after um, this cooks here. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm sitting in a meeting for work, and all I can think about are my tacos. She is curled up around my chair. Captain's log, fourth hour of cooking carnitas, pulled pork, stomach still very empty, me still very hungry, Yuki still very sleepy. <sighs> the smell is starting to rise and fill my apartment. Can you guys see anything? Cause I cannot. But here it is guys. This is the fourth hour. I mean, looks pretty same. I can kind of notice a little bit of the bubbles and stuff arising up here. It's kind of starting to boil. The juices are starting to flow. The smells are starting to arrow. We're at the seven hour mark right now for our tacos. I know you guys can't really see much. I'm really trying not to open this lid until the final eighth hour and it's smelling so good right now. 
I see that the peppers and the onions are getting really soft and nice. Exciting, exciting times. While that is on its last leg of cooking, I'm going to be making a taco topper. I don't know what the proper term is for it, but I'm just going to be chopping up some onions, tomatoes, cilantro, squeezing some lime, and I'm just going to spread that on top of the tacos. It's going to be really simple though, really simple and fresh. That's just something I loved about street tacos is just how fresh it is. So we got the onions, we got ourselves a big old tomato. When I went to Korea, my uncle taught me how to eat tomatoes they would just bite into it and suck all the innards out and I used to love doing that look at that vibrant red right there on the top of the white beautiful oh yes now adding in the green here we'll just top that in with all of our cilantro right on top time for the lime I'm just gonna chop a few limes for the tacos. I'm gonna take this one big piece though and just squirt it right in here. Here we are, our fresh little salsa mixture for the top of our tacos. Oh man, it smells so good, so fresh. Slow cooked for eight hours. Let's take a look, let's take a smell. Get into this glory. Oh my gosh, oh the smell. We're not done though, we're not done. We gotta go all the way through with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out, put it on our cutting board. I'm hoping that it's tender and it's shreddable. That's kind of the goal of this. There's just so much goodness right here. We're going digging. Oh, it just floated to the top. This is all it right here. Oh, it's so tender, it's falling apart. I can feel it. I need to be so gentle with it. Oh my gosh, wow, just wow. Okay, that is a beautiful looking piece of meat right there. Let me go ahead and just shred this, okay? Here we go for the shred. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I've never shredded meat before, but I'm hopeful, hopefully I'm doing this right. We're gonna taste a piece of it just plain first. All right, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> that is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. That is some good tasting meat. Like I said though, we're not done, we're not done. Now what we gotta do is brown the meat, apparently. I've never done this before. This is all pretty new to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pan here. We're just gonna fry up the pork, I guess, to make it a little bit crispy is what browning is. It was a word I learned today on the interwebs. We're gonna take a little bit of this pork here, put it into the pan with some of the sauce and the juices until the juice disappears and evaporates and then it's just gonna be golden. Take some of that juice and just pour it right on. <laughs> the juices are evaporating here. This is just to make, I think, one side crispy and then the outer layer will still be tender. You're gonna have like the best of both worlds, the tenderness as well as the crispiness. Apparently, that's what they're saying. I'm gonna start to turn on this middle piece right here too, because I'm gonna heat up my tortillas just right along here. Got some tortillas. I'm just gonna place them all just along this edge here. I got flour tortillas, which I kind of wished I got corn tortillas. I think I like corn tortillas better. I just picked up the wrong ones. But I'm just gonna toast up these tortillas a little bit. As you can see here, the meat's getting really nice and brown, actually. The juice is all evaporated, and it looks just so good right now, guys. That browning process, I feel like it just gave the meat extra flavor in there. We'll start with two for now. Time to build the taco. It's gonna take some of our beautiful meat. Look at this meat. Oh my God. All right, take some of this wonderful meat here. We're not gonna overload them too much. We're just gonna make them pretty respectful size. Gonna go ahead and just take some of my little mixture, place it right on top here, just a little bit. There it is, guys. Some street tacos right here in the flesh. Look at that. Oh, that is wonderful. That looks so good. Okay, before we even get started though, let me squirt this lime just right on top. Yes. Here we are, guys. First homemade street taco. Let's see how it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. This might be my favorite street taco now. <laughs> 
Wow, that meat is so tasty. Browning it just gives it that nice crisp underlayer. And then still, it's so tender though. It's just like on the outside, it got really nice and crispy. And the inside, it just got so tender and juicy. Oh my gosh. I just got a big fat piece in there and oh. That tastes so good. I'm so happy, guys. This turned out amazing. I want to spice this second one up, though, just a little bit. I'm going to just toss some hot sauce right on here. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Mmm. Mm hmm That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. I forgot to squirt some lime on here. Oh, oh yeah, there we are. God, that pork is so good. I'm gonna make like six more tacos because I can, and then I'm just gonna see where the night takes me. Guys, highly suggest you to try out this recipe if you are a taco fan. Really, really easy to make. I mean, this is a super easy. The only hard part was waiting, but it was also the really fun part too. Throughout my whole work day, I was just so excited because in the back of my mind, I just knew I had amazing tacos waiting for me. I'm gonna destroy this. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Much love, one love. This has been Deboki. See you guys later. Goodbye.